Good morning. I am Billy Clow, Interim Provost and Academic Vice President, and it is my privilege to welcome you to Western Illinois University's Spring 2020 Virtual Commencement. We hope that family, friends, faculty, and university staff are tuning in this morning to help us celebrate our newest graduates. Please join Spencer Randolph and Parker Carls, both Bachelor of Music and Vocal Performance majors, in the singing of our national anthem. Oh, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming? Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we Thank you, Spencer and Parker. Commencement is a milestone. It's also a moment in time, a landing place on the calendar of your life you have been anticipating. Today, this particular day. And while we may not be celebrating in Western Hall, this time is for all our Western Illinois University spring graduates. This moment matters. On April 24th, 1899, the Illinois General Assembly passed legislation to establish an institution of higher learning in Macomb, Illinois. Today, WIU consists of two campuses, our main campus in Macomb and our branch campus in Moline. With the completion of your degrees, you will join over 135,000 alumni who look to the future with confidence because of their educational experience at Western Illinois University. I wish to acknowledge a number of distinguished individuals dedicated to Western Illinois this morning. Dr. Polly Radosh, Chair of the Board of Trustees. Mr. Doug Shaw, Vice Chair of the Board of Trustees. Mr. Justin Brown, student member and secretary of the Board of Trustees. Mr. Greg Aguilar, member of the Board of Trustees. Mr. Eric Dolschlager, member of the Board of Trustees. Ms. Keisha Lang, member of the Board of Trustees. Ms. Karen Stutz, member of the Board of Trustees. And Dr. Patrick Toomey, a member of the Board of Trustees. Thank you for all of your service. Additionally, there are a few others who need to be acknowledged as well. Ms. Letitia Trepak, Associate Vice President for Budget and Finance. Mr. John Smith, Interim Vice President for Student Services. Dr. Joe Reeves, Senior Vice President for Strategic Planning and Initiatives. Dr. Susan Martinelli-Fernandez, Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences. Dr. Jack Elfrink, Dean of the College of Business and Technology. Dr. Katrina Daytner, Dean of the College of Education and Human Services. Dr. Buzz Hoon, Interim Dean of the College of Fine Arts and Communication. Dr. Rick Hardy, Dean of the Centennial Honors College, and Dr. Gene Stearman, Interim Dean, University Libraries. Most importantly, it is my honor to recognize the dedicated faculty and staff of Western Illinois University. Without their commitment in the face of this spring's unknown, we wouldn't be here this morning. I would also like to take a moment to honor those of, on our front lines, nurses and doctors, all of our healthcare workers, police and firefighters, paramedics, custodians, grocery store employees, restaurant workers, and so many of you who have risen up to serve during this time. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now some words of wisdom from a few of our distinguished alumni. Thank you very much for the opportunity to address the class of 2020. I'm Bob Nardelli, a proud graduate of WIU class of 1971. Yes, just short of 50 years ago, long before any of you were born. I feel very fortunate to have had the opportunity to attend Western and to have the advantage of a great education 
and athletic experience while here in Macomb, Illinois. I want to congratulate all of the graduates in attendance, or more specifically, watching online. Your parents, guardians, family and friends who supported and encouraged you over the years. I'm confident they feel their success is measured in yours. To all the professors, faculty, and support staff, thank you for doing what you do so well with dedication and commitment to the students and the university. There's no question these are challenging times, unprecedented in my 50 years of experience. You're living through a moment in time that will be written about and talked about for years to come. Your children and your grandchildren will be asking you countless questions about, how was it? Tell me about it. Is what I read really true? It's amazing you lived through it. Yes, it is amazing. And you are part of the fabric that helped us all get through it. It's a credit to each and every one of you who were persistent, did not give up, stuck to your goal and your aspirations to graduate regardless of what was thrown at you. That is exactly what the world and the business community is looking for when it comes to the job market. When the job market opens or when you open it, when you open it as an entrepreneur, innovative, or whatever your passion and dedication directs you to follow going forward. You'll create the new norm. I have a saying over the years, whether at GE, running Home Depot, or Chrysler, what got a business to a certain point probably will not get you to the next threshold. I challenge you to measure yourself in accomplishments, not time. Don't get in the rut of an eight to five mentality. Always ask yourself, what did I accomplish today? Whether it takes you one hour or 10 hours, time is not what measures success. It's the accomplishments that you will make that stand out from the rest. I believe and hope you will also do that, that we all have an infinite capacity to improve on everything we do every minute of every day. I was in a meeting one day and someone asked me, when could we have that done, Bob? Well, everyone in the meeting started to pull out a calendar and I looked at my watch. The class of 1971 moved way past our analog world into a digital world that moves at blink speed. Now, each of you will have the opportunity to move us well beyond that in your careers. I'm confident each of you graduate today richer in knowledge, richer in integrity, richer in a sense of accomplishment and ready to take on the world. I leave you with this wish that all of your dreams come true because my graduation from WIU certainly prepared to live mine. You're all leatherneck tough. God bless and wishing you tremendous success in all you do in life. Congratulations to our 2020 graduates. You did it. Congratulations again. You know, it's what so many people plan for or think they're gonna be able to accomplish. But you, you persevered and you rose to the challenge. And you know what, it feels great to say it. You're a Western Illinois graduate. Again, congratulations. I have the privilege to speak to you today as a distinguished alumni, as a member of our board of trustees, as a CEO, a wife, a mom, a grandmother, and honestly, it feels like just yesterday I was there at Western and uh, gosh, so many fun memories. So I get one minute to give you three pieces of advice. So here goes. Number one, be an advocate for yourself. You know, always have the courage to speak up and go after what you want. Number two, financial skills. You've got to learn them. You have to understand money. Honestly, it gets you a seat at the table and it opens doors. And the number one lesson for, for those of us thinking about financials is number is invest in yourself, right? Start saving now. And then lastly, use your network. They're there to help. And if you haven't thought about it, yours is pretty huge right now because you've got the entire Western Illinois alumni group right behind you, championing you, rooting for you, and wishing you the most success. And speaking of success, right? You had a wonderful family or friend or support group that was behind you. I know you're giving a big shout out and a thanks to them as well. But today, 
It's all about you. And I just want to say one more time, congratulations. You will forever be known as the graduating class with the biggest spirit of service, with a lot of resilience, with, uh, well, let's just say technology savvy and a lot of tenacity as well. So congratulations to each and every one of you. You did it, we couldn't be more proud. Go Leathernecks and welcome to the alumni team. Hello and congratulations. My name is Jacob Jinglin. I graduated from Western Illinois University in 2010 in biology and 2012 in nursing. I currently work as an emergency medicine doctor in Michigan. WIU was a huge part of my life and who I became as a person. I know the same will be true for you whether you realize it yet or not. Western is where I grew up. I made lifelong friends there, best friends in fact. I also met my amazing wife. And of course, I got a quality education. But I'm not here to talk about myself, I'm here to talk about you. Today is a big day, a day of celebration, a symbolic day you will remember forever. It may be happening in a way you didn't expect and you may not be thrilled with it. But don't let the situation take anything away from you. You've done the hard part. You've gone to class, you've studied, you've taken the exams, you've earned your degrees, and now you will reap the rewards of all of your hard work. Today marks a turning point in your lives. Most of you will enter the workforce. Many will continue your education. Whatever you decide to do, my advice is simple. Be the best you can be. You all have the tools to succeed, and no matter how cliche it may sound, you really can do anything you set your mind to. You are now a member of a very special group. You are alumni of Western Illinois University. So go now and celebrate because you've earned it. Congratulations, go Leathernecks. Hi, my name is Melody Betts and I am an actress, singer, songwriter and a proud Leatherneck class of 09. Now I came prepared, I got on my Taraji uh, P. Henson wig and I have my notes and I'm ready to talk to the class of 2020. So let's hit it. I began my professional acting career in 2008 when I left Western Illinois University. And I've been blessed to be able to continue that career starting in Chicago, moving to um, work at regional theaters across the nation until recently landing on Broadway in a little show called Waitress. Now, if you were watching Jesus Christ Superstar live this Easter on NBC, you may have caught a glimpse of me. Now, I know it's really hard to get past the shine of John Legend, but I was there. I had the big hair and the giant leather cape. <laughs> and when I think back on all the things that I've been able to do over the years, I'm really overcome with joy and gratefulness. But it had to start somewhere. And it started for me at Western Illinois University's Department of Theater and Dance. I don't think I would be where I am today without them. Now, when I was asked to construct the short Beach, there are a few things that immediately came to mind. Number one, what a weird time we live in. I mean, like WTF is going on. <laughs> this is one heck of a challenging time to be graduating and just to be alive, but we are alive. Number two, how scary it must be for all of you to be getting ready to head out into a world that at the moment seems to be at a standstill. Number three, how on earth do you prepare for that? Well, to all of that, I say these words and offer them as possible solutions and encouragement. Number one, this is only a moment and that moment is temporary. You've been given the gift of time, so use it wisely. Prepare for the things that you want to see come into fruition in your life and in your future. It's the perfect time to plan and prepare. Make sure your skill matches your ambition. I think Amy Poehler said that. Number two, though things are uncertain, I am here to attest the fact that there is room for you. I promise this profession isn't going anywhere. And I charge you to find your place in it and be the best first at being you and then be the best that you can at what you can do. There's someone waiting for you to fulfill your purpose. There is someone 
out there who needs your presence. You never know how you're going to affect someone, how you're going to impact the world, but it's out there waiting for you. And there's yet and still plenty of room. So get out there and find your place or places. Lastly, life experience is the best teacher and preparer of the human being. So practice being a human being. And by that, I mean, be kind, considerate of others, realize you're not always right. And even if you are, other people have their right to their own opinion and experience. Show up, do the work and work hard. Respect your fellow man, coworkers, take care of your mind, body and spirit. Every action should be led by love if you can help it and humility and patience go a long way. And always remember, you belong. You're here, so you are worthy and you belong. And if you keep on trucking, learning your lessons along the way, everything will be all right. This profession doesn't yield immediate life results other than critique and applause, but if you just keep on trucking, you'll make it. You will, you will make it to where you are headed. Congratulations, class of 2020. Won't y'all have one hell of a story to tell the grandkids? <laughs> all the best. Thank you all for sharing with us today. During the spring 2020 semester, many of our talented students earned significant academic honors, including being named department, college, and honor scholars. In addition, 83 students have earned the academic distinction of cum laude, 72 as magna cum laude, and 49 as summa cum laude, which is the highest academic honor. Congratulations for these outstanding accomplishments. It is now my privilege to introduce Interim President Dr. Martin Abraham. It's commencement season for colleges and universities around the nation. Unfortunately, due to the ongoing pandemic, commencement celebrations have a different look and feel this spring. With that said, today, we welcome you to the Western Illinois University virtual spring commencement ceremony. To our graduates watching, in spite of what's happening in our world, today is a cause for celebration. You have reached a significant milestone in your life. While we are disappointed that we can't be together to celebrate your achievements, we are together virtually to pay tribute to you and your accomplishments. Canceling the traditional academic and social experiences for the remainder of the semester, including this spring 2020 commencement exercise, have been among some of the hardest decisions I've had to make. While we are celebrating you virtually today, we are doing everything we can to ensure that all spring 2020 graduates have a meaningful in-person graduation experience at a later date. The university experience is supposed to be much more than the opportunity to get an education. It is a time when you build lifelong relationships and make personal and professional connections that will always be with you. During your time at Western, you have interacted with many people, friends from your earliest days in the residence hall, professors whose class was especially meaningful, advisors who helped you through a rough patch, and classmates who you've gotten to know in a meaningful way. Celebrate those connections and continue to nurture them. One thing this pandemic has taught us is the importance of our family and friends those connections we have with others that are especially meaningful. While the pandemic took away the opportunity to be physically together during this celebration, it did not take away the ability to connect with important people in our lives and to reach out and make a difference. As you celebrate your graduation, pick up the phone to call a loved one or to reach out to a friend you made during your time at Western. Celebrate and cherish those connections. Life is about sharing experiences, and your achievement today deserves to be shared. I am so proud of our students, our faculty, and our staff. You have shown tremendous strength and resilience during all of this. Despite the obstacles that could have derailed your efforts, 
you persevered and made it to this critical milestone in your life. Your leatherneck spirit has continued to shine, and you continue to inspire and motivate me. This is not the end of something. Rather, it is a beginning. You are starting a new chapter of your lives. Western Illinois University has been here for you, and we will continue to be here for you. We look forward to the day when you return in person to celebrate your time here with your WIU family. You will have unique stories to share because your experience at Western is truly one of a kind. Leathernecks are strong. Leathernecks are champions. And leathernecks overcome challenges. You will navigate obstacles in your path and you will emerge triumphant. You have proven your capability by succeeding in the midst of adversity. This is the leatherneck spirit that guides you and that will see you through the challenges that life will bring you. I offer my most sincere congratulations on your graduation from Western Illinois University. You are the future and you will make a difference. I wish you the very best. Thank you, Dr. Abraham. It is now a great honor to present to you candidates for graduation for the following degrees. The Doctor of Education, Masters of Fine Arts, Education Specialist, Specialist in School Psychology, Master of Accountancy, Master of Arts, Master of Business Administration, Master of Liberal Arts and Sciences, Master of Music, Master of Science, Master of Science in Education. In addition, the Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Business, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Bachelor of Liberal Arts and Sciences, Bachelor of Music, Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Bachelor of Social Work, Bachelor of Science in Education. By the authority delegated to me by the Board of Trustees of Western Illinois University, I hereby confer upon each of you who has completed all academic requirements for your degree with all of the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining to your degree. I would like to recognize all the parents, spouses, partners, relatives, and friends of the graduates for the important contributions you have made in support of your graduates. Graduates, you couldn't have done it without them. Graduate students receive a hood to signify receipt of an advanced degree. The color of the facing of the hood reflects the academic discipline of the wearer's highest degree. Baccalaureate graduates, to signify the receipt of the bachelor's degree, please move your tassels from the right side of your cap to the left side. If you ever forget which side your tassel should be placed on, remember that you wear it on your left over your heart to remind you of your alma mater. In closing, I share with you from Hamlet, what a piece of work is a man, how noble in reason, how infinite in faculty, in form and moving, how express and admirable, in action how like an angel, in apprehension how like a god, the beauty of the world, the paragon of animals. You have honored us by choosing this great university and we have responded with providing you an excellent education here at Western Illinois University. We share with, out with you our beloved school song, Western Loyalty, as performed by members of the WIU School of Music. Congratulations, graduates. Good day and great futures. Oh,
have I found? 